What's up, Vegas Loser? I'm James Ellis, and I'm 30 years old. I've personally been training uh, for eight years myself, and I've been training others for about uh, two to three years now, I've taken on a lot of very challenging clients, um, and it's such a joy for me to take somebody from, you know, I recently trained a guy that was 42 years old. I've been training him for two years. He's gone from 198 pounds down to 167 pounds. The guy never thought he would see abs, and now he sees abs. That brings joy to my life to help somebody to attain the body that they want and to live a healthy lifestyle in general. Um, I like to help people to set goals and to attain those goals. So it's another reason I love training is to just in general get people to start setting goals, not just for training, but they take those goals and start setting them in other places in life. So that's why I like to train people, to help them to attain those goals, to live a healthy lifestyle, and to be in shape. Why would I be a great trainer for The Biggest Loser? Well, the reason for that is because, one, I have a unique, a unique training technique. Um, I like to do things that are different than what other trainers do, you know, and help people, like, get on the BOSU ball, do some balancing things. You'll see a lot of unique training techniques in the guy that I'm getting ready to train next. Um, and finally, another reason I'd be great for The Biggest Loser is because I'm already in the public's eye. Um, I'm both international and national with my fitness covers. I've been on six fitness covers this year, and I have a feature running in muscle and fitness right now, a four-month feature. I'm in maximum fitness about every month. I'm in men's workout about every month. So I'm all over the board. So that's why I'd be a great trainer for The Biggest Loser because people already know me. I already have a fan base started, and I'm energetic. I like to have a good time, so get me on The Biggest Loser, and I hope you enjoy my training session coming up. All right, here I am with Brent. We're getting ready to do a quick workout. I want to show you a couple of the training techniques that I use. Um, Brent and I have been training together. I've been training him for about a month, and he's gone from 184 to 175. Uh, he's trying to get down to abs like this. That's his goal. It's not going to be the same challenge that we have on the show with the really, really heavy people. Brent's in pretty good shape, so he's going to do more challenging workouts than the people on the show will probably do. But, you know, what is our, what is our training technique? What is, we have a secret to nutrition, the, the natural, the nutrition life, and that is what? Sing! That's right, sing. Not S-I-N-G, but S-E-N-G. So sleep is important. As Brent learned, you got to get eight hours of sleep a night. Exercise is obviously important through cardio and through just, in general, through doing weight training. you got to get the muscles toned. Next is your nutrition. you got to eat right and learn what to eat when. And then finally, goals. I've had Brent setting so many goals. He cut a picture out of a magazine recently, a, a fitness magazine, of the kind of body he wants to look like. So we're setting attainable goals throughout his workout. So we're hoping to reach those. Obviously, we started by measuring his waist, his arms, things like that, because there are better ways to uh, measure success than just a simple scale. We can measure success by measuring his biceps, his waist, everything, because guess what? He's lost weight, but he's gained weight too. Look at these guns. I mean, he's, his arms are tight, so there are better ways to measure success than just through simply using a scale. So now we're gonna go into the workout. All right, so right now I'm training Brent. He's uh, trying to tighten up his arms, so we're training triceps right now. We're gonna hit biceps after this. This is a stacking workout. So I have him doing skull crushers using his body weight. It's a very safe way to work out and not pull muscles. Right after this, he's gonna stack it with push-ups. So I'm pushing him right now, help him out a little bit. There we go, okay. Now do one more for me, one more. Think about your goals, think about that picture you wanna attain. Come on, push, 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 push. Nice, okay, let's go down, push-ups. Shake your arms out while I'm moving it. All right. Brent's a little bit more advanced, so I have him going. Uh, he's doing these at, at an angle. He's doing push-ups, so he's going to turn around and put this pad on here. So now he's going to burn out with these. For those who are a little bit less advanced, they might be doing the push-ups on the knees. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Using his body weight once again, so he's not going to pull his muscles as easy. Very good push. Okay. Keep going. Come on. I'm gonna help you. Come on, give me three more, three more. Come on, think about your goals. You wanna reach those, one more, come on, come on, come on, push. Nice, okay? So this is a great way for him to tone up his triceps using his body weight. Again, less likely to pull muscles when he's not using weight, pushing it above him. We'll go on to the next one. All right, so what I have Brent doing now is some biceps. We did a lot of triceps earlier. I like to do buys and tries for his workout because we're really trying to tone up his muscles. It's going to be a little bit different challenge than we, than we have on The Biggest Loser because he's looking for that muscle definition right now because he's a little bit further along now. 
But what I have him doing is a simple bicep curl, which works the peak, and he's doing those individually, and then he goes, the next one he goes to a hammer curl, which works the bottom of the bicep and a little bit of the outside. So right now, as you can see, he's got his back straight, his head's up, and he's focusing on keeping his shoulders back when he does these curls. What I found out is it's more important to have good form than it is to push heavy weight. So that's what I would work with with the biggest losers. It's not pushing a ton of weight, but concentrating on form. I mean, at this particular gym in the basement, we only have dumbbells that go up to 40 pounds. So we're not pushing a lot of weight, we're focusing on good form. So, Brent, keep this up, buddy. Nice. All right, give me one more each, hammer. There you go. Nice. Okay, so, as you can see, Brent's been, had, had a great workout for buys and tries. Earlier this morning, you can drop him, buddy. Earlier this morning, I had him do cardio. So in the morning, I had him do cardio. He worked out on the treadmill. I had him do five minutes at an easy pace for a warm-up. Then I had him do interval training. He's a little bit more advanced, so I had him do 100 meters fast, and then a quarter mile easy, 100 meters fast, quarter mile easy. He did that for 10 minutes, and then I had him do a five minute cool down. So, great training, good job, buddy. Brent's gotta attain his goals. I have him setting so many goals, so I'm excited about him, and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna attain these goals, right, buddy? That's right. All right, thanks, Biggest Loser. Hope to be on the show training for you.